Art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. Art can take many forms and can be done by anyone. During the 1960s and 70s, there weren't many fem female artists, and artists that were out there didn't get recognition for their artwork. Also, during this time period was second wave feminism. It was a time where many women were not treated fairly, especially minorities. Second wave feminism integr integrated with other civil rights movements, fights for reproductive rights, and anti-war pro protests. Women during this time period noticed many things that were wrong with society, and they questioned what their role in society has become. They saw that this is a social injustice, and they thought to solve these problems. Events like these were what inspired the feminist art movement in the 1960s and 70s. The feminist art movement made a huge impact in the 60s and 70s because they made organizations, they spread the word to many artists, and had some of their own feminist groups. The movement began in the late 1960s. It started around the same time as second wave feminism. During the early start, women were denied for their work to be displayed at galleries and exhibitions for the simple fact that they were women. Because of the sexism that these women faced and the difficulty to get their art displayed to the public, feminist artists created their own venues like the Women's Interior Art Center in New York, the Women's Building in Los Angeles, and the Artemisia Gallery in Chicago. These venues were found, founded between 1970 and 1973 and were completely founded by women to give them representation in the art world. Many activist groups were starting to fight the social inju injustice of sexism in the art world. The first group was formed in 1969 and was called the Art Workers Coalition. This group created a statement of demands to different art museums and exhibitions. In these statements, they demanded museums for equal representation of women's art, fair representation of minorities, and agreement to not exhibit artwork without the art's consent. Because of these protests and demands, the Art Workers Coalition expanded their group and started the Women Artists in Revolution in 1969. This group showed many, some of the many ways the art world was positively shaped throughout the feminism art movement. Another key point in the movement was providing art education for women. In 1970, America's first women's art class was taught by Judy Chicago at Fresno State College. The class succeeded so well that Judy Chicago progressed with the idea of providing women's art education. In 1971, Chicago and fellow artist Marion Shapiro established the feminist art program of, at the California Institute of the Arts. Chicago and Shapiro made groundbreaking history by starting their program. Not only did they provide art education, but they also made a popular work of art called Woman House. This particular artwork was a house filled with many rooms, and each room had different forms of visual and performance art. Their art was meant to help women take pride in their bodies and explore feminine imagery from the perspective of a woman, which has never been done before on art. As well as activist groups in art education, there were feminist art journals that were published during this time period. They were started because other art journals wouldn't acknowledge women's art. Some of these art, women's art periodicals include the Feminist Art Journal established in 1972. The Women's Art Journal started in 1980 and the Women's Art Magazine established in 1986. Because of these art magazines, there were different conferences organized to keep the movement going. The two most well-known events were the West Coast Women's Art Conference and the Conference on Women in Visual Arts, both of which occurred in 1972. In these conferences, many different women discussed the idea of feminism both in and out of the art world and ways to spread it in, in order to positively impact society. There were many powerful works of art created during the time of the movement. The commencement of the feminist art movement came along with the innovations of postmodern and contemporary art. One of these in innovations included the use of mixed media, which is different ma materials used in single artwork. Miriam Shapiro's Anatomy of Kimono embodies mixed media because of the material in the piece of art. Shapiro used Japanese kimonos, fans, and robes to make this piece. She used the material and put it all together to create a symbol that would highlight women's relation to the specific objects, especially because most Japanese women wore these types of things. Another form of mixed media feminist art is Jewish Chicago's The Dinner Party. The Dinner Party was a large table with different plating and utensils for every seat in the city arrangement. The Dinner Party paid homage to women who changed history and urges people to acknowledge the fact that women play an important role in society no matter what they do. Photography was another postmodern artistic innovation that was starting to become more popular during this time period. An example of feminist photographic artwork is Printing in the Kitchen by Cindy Sherman. It is, so sur it is a surreal self-portrait of Sherman looking over her shoulder while standing in front of a stove. It is meant to show the reality of what exists 
exists regarding gender roles and the things that control us, like sexuality, beauty, and power. I Shop, Therefore I Am by Barbara Kruger is a mix of photography and graphic art. She uses this to expose the fact that most product advertisements for women are created by men, meaning that what the media gear, gears toward women are based on men's assup- assumptions about women's desires and lives. It also makes it seem like women can be controlled and made happy by men, which isn't true. Another postmodern innovation of the 1960s and 70s was performance art. Performance art during this time period mainly focused on body language and art through the body. One particular piece of artwork was specifically that specifically resembles body art is Yoko Ono's cut piece. In this performance, Ono sat motionless on the stage and invited the audience to come on stage one person at a time and cut off a piece of her clothing. The performance would continue until almost all of the clothing, clothing was cut off. This work of art was meant to demonstrate that women are often portrayed as sexual objects rather than what they actually are, women. This was meant to address the social injustice of women being taken advantage, advantage of in society. Another example of feminist performance art is Martha Rosser's Semiotics of a Kitchen. This performance was a parody of a cooking show, and everything the woman did in the kitchen ended in anger and frustration. Through this performance, Martha Rosler sought to change people's perception of a woman's role in household and how the media represented those roles. What's funny? Well, whenever we cook inside, Mom always says to cook it. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, you know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. We looked around and we saw that all the opportunities and almost all the money in the art world was going to white males. And no one really cared about it, so we decided that we would put up some provocative posters in the streets and try to get people to talk about it. The feminist art movement of the 1960s and 70s has impacted society today. It has inspired many women to stand up for their rights. An example of this is a women's march in January of 2017. Many women came together to get their point across of their point of views of President Donald Trump's hateful comments. During the march, many women had expressed their anger, anger in art. They made signs and made groups to make the art or to come along to march. Overall, that feminist art movement made an impact just like the feminist art movement of the 60s and 70s because they had groups or organizations to help out with the movement.